welcome back everybody so this is gonna be a quick update video for you guys on stock market and before we get started please smash that like button and 100 plus likes on this video would be greatly appreciated guys and if you're new here consider subscribing now if you want to get my daily trade ideas swing trade ideas live trading and you want to support the channel definitely check out their link down below in the description for patreon all right so let's get started with pc data that came out friday morning and let's go over it guys and you can see right here pc core right here month over month 0.1 percent consensus was 0.1 percent and then we got previously it was 0.3 percent now look at right here pc price index month over month zero unchanged which is good news for inflation right and then look at this right here pc price index year over year we got 2.6 actual numbers previous was 2.7 so it came down just a tiny bit nothing big consensus was 2.6 so the market realizing that oh it's actually good but then thinking about this that you know it's not really going down that much it's kind of sticky so the market sold off again so that is something to watch and then how market actually closed today with that inverted hammer candle and we could see a lot more going into next week going into that 4th of july weekend guys and we'll talk about it here in this video now what do we got here on stock market well dow jones down only 0.12 percent nasdaq going down 0.71 percent s p going down 0.41 percent and russell going up 0.41 percent after actually going up one percent came back it was actually red and then somehow finishing the day in the green up 0.41 percent and here's 11 sectors that makes up S&P 500 on top, leading the way at real estate, financial, energy, basic materials, industrials. In the red, we got healthcare, technology, consumer defensive, consumer cyclical, utilities, communication services. Week to date performance right here, definitely at risk of move. We got energy leading the way on top, up 2.48%. Communication services, real estate, financial, consumer cyclical, and then we have technology, healthcare, basic materials, industrials, consumer defensive, and utilities. So what we got here on stock market map, we got Amazon going down 2.33%, Meta going down almost 3%, Tesla flat, it was up actually over 200 and then came back. Google also down 1.84%, Apple going down 1.63%, even Microsoft went down over 1%, but look at right here, the monster Nvidia still staying flat on the day. Big banks, JPM going up 1.5%. Wells Fargo going up almost 3.5%, Bank of America going up 1.32%, big name from healthcare going up 4.69% uh, UNH, and then people that are looking to invest or maybe trying to find a stock that they can buy and hold and not finding a big name. Well, two names I have as a recommendation here in this video. Disney definitely took a massive bidding today, so that is one, but the biggest one will be Nike here, guys. With the earnings, missing on revenue and this thing is down 20 percent so if you're somebody who likes to buy a dip catching a falling knife like nike and you can hold longer i'm not talking about five weeks six weeks or you know one month at least couple months i think this is a great opportunity on nike to play to the upside and i think this thing will come back up over time on triple q it's down 0.52 percent so again going up to a brand new all-time high and then pretty much all the gains got wiped off and closing at the low of the day so that's not looking bullish going into next week now what we got as a candle structure we got inverted hammer here on triple q now is this some sort of a reversal finally that triple q can come down and close this gap at 468 or you know like i hate to say it with 20 plus years of experience you know bearish pattern is a bearish pattern right but in this market guys you know i have seen so many inverted hammers bear flags and it's actually playing out to the upside so i hate to say that you know i hate to be that guy but you know don't get overly bearish because we got inverted hammer and you think that market is going down big time we do have fourth of july next week so that is something big usually market you know rallies into that uh fourth of july weekend and I think this week is on Thursday, so uh, I don't see market going down in a big way unless we take out 478, that key support. And if that's out, you're going to see a quick drop, especially down to 20 SMA right here. And that is going to be around 472. And then we can talk about this gap 
468. If that happens in between, I would say Monday and Tuesday, definitely these are buying opportunity for that rally going into 4th of July. And that could happen on Wednesday. Now, these are some speculation, you know, nothing is guaranteed. You know, even this inverted hammer is not guaranteed that market will go down. You need to see price action, you know, proving and, you know, things are going down and breaking down below the support. And right now, look at this. It's holding 13 day moving average right here, 478, exactly pretty much right before closing, closing at 479.11. So going into next week, as long as 478 holds, well, ignore this inverted hammer. Things can push even higher back up to all time highs and that's going to be 486 to 487 to even 494. Now to the downside, 478 breaks, then watch out for 472 and then this gap 468 and under 468 you will see a lot more selling down to 460 and even much much lower from there. On SPY ETF is down 0.39% and going up to a brand new all time high and then all the gains are wiped off and pretty much closing at the low of the day. And I know a lot of you guys are asking yourself and maybe commenting here in this video, is this actually a double top? Yes, this could be a double top, but we have no confirmation here, guys. Now, you can see it's really hard to get under 543. And even today, guys, 542.95, but closing it, almost 545 so we need to get under 543 and if that happens then watch out for a move especially down to i would say 540 rising white line 20 day moving average right here and under that level you're going to see immediately this gap getting filled 537 and that is something to watch maybe early monday morning into tuesday morning this week coming up with fourth of july coming i think on thursday now, to the upside, as long as 543 can hold, yes, we could see a push back up to 547. And over that level, watch out for 550. And then another brand new all time high, that's going to be 553. And here's my X account. And if you guys are on there, definitely give me a follow. And there is no subscription, nothing here on X is totally free. And you can always ask me a question if you have. Now, here's a fantastic play from Friday right here, guys, on Meta. You can see Meta coming down to this gap, 513 to 511, filling the gap at 513. And right here at 513, catching these calls right here, 520. Same day, Friday expiration, June 28th and going through the roof. I mean, the runners, they went up to 300%. This is where I actually got out at 100%. And even right here, IWM, you can see selling at 3.33 p.m., selling at 2.01 right here, selling those runners. And this thing also paid on Friday. So all these special trade ideas and all kinds of uh, swing trade ideas, live trading are available on Patreon, and especially if you want to support the channel and you're really serious about trading, definitely check out the link down below in the description for Patreon, guys. On IWM, it's up 0.41%. So this is the only thing that is actually up on the day. But this thing you can see here, guys, I actually showed it right here at 204, getting some puts and selling out. You guys saw that play down here close to 201, and then this thing went back up. So this was a fantastic trade right here on IWM. This thing also paid. I mean, it took a lot of time to come down, but at the end, definitely came down and pretty much caught a $3 move to the downside. And then this thing went back up. And now it's holding at right here. You can see right on my screen, 202. White line, 20 day moving average. So 202, that would be your line in the sand going into Monday's session. But 202 gives up the next support, 200 and then 198. 198 where bulls needs to hold right here on IWM. If not, you're going to see more dump off, possibly down to 193. Now over 202, as long as support can hold, I said it before also that watch out for a move all the way up to 206 and over 206, 208, and then 212 on IWM possible if this thing can move higher and can hold 202. These moving averages right here as a support going into next week on Monday. On DIA, absolutely flat on the day and DIA pulling back after going up to 394 plus and wiped off all the gains and now into closing, holding over 
rising 50 day and 20 day moving average red line and white line right here at 388 to 389 so that is going to be your line the sand right here on dia for next week under the level you're going to see a flush all the way down to 384 now to the upside dia can break and hold right here and that's going to be around at 393 to 392 because we got these moving averages and also upper bollinger band sitting here and once we see this Bollinger Band expands even higher to the upside, you're going to see a quick trip all the way up to 400 and possibly even a brand new all-time high because we saw SPY ETF and Triple Key going up and hitting a brand new all-time high today. And this one is nowhere near all-time highs. So DIA can definitely afford you know, a move all the way back up to 400 again because this thing consolidating here and not really going crazy where we saw SPY ETF and Q's just going absolutely crazy and going up to a brand new all-time high. So watch out if this thing can hold the support 388 to 389 and can break over, I would say 393 to 392, then easily can go up to 400 again. But under 388, there will be a flush down to 384. And if that gives up, you can see this trend line here. Under this level, guys, you're going to see a huge dump off and that could take DIA down to 376 again. So the dollar is staying flat on the day and staying above rising five day moving average. Now you can see this is actually a weekly time frame and dollar just wedging right here, guys. And we might see that breakout over 106. And if that happens, I mean, this thing can come up definitely all the way up to this high right here which is gonna be near 115 and if that happens market setting at brand new all-time high i mean as a matter of fact we just hit an all-time high today market can actually afford five to ten percent pullback and if this thing gets that breakout over 106 that can happen and that is why i'm actually showing you guys how the dollar actually coiling up here on this weekly time frame now here on this daily chart and you can see dollar we do have strong support at 105 and below that 104.48 dollar gets that breakout over 106 next up 106.52 and then on this weekly time frame possibly can come up right here and retest this high right here 107.40 up to even 109 on VIX is up 1.63%. So this thing was getting crushed again today on Friday under $12. And then off of this lower Bollinger Band, we got a bounce and now trading at 12.44 at the closing. So here on VIX, guys, one thing I want to point out, look at right here what happened. Bollinger Bands, they were squeezing. We saw a lot of consolidation inside Bollinger Bands right here just going back and forth ping ponging and then massive breakout to the upside right here and then another one right here and another one the biggest one was recently right here and since then market just going up to a brand new all-time high and this thing pretty much hitting a brand new all-time low so VIX here I think a big move is coming now is that going to happen with 4th of July next week well possibilities are less but I think a big move on VIX might be coming in near future, maybe not next week, but look at these Bollinger Bands are squeezing, so we could see massive explosion. Now, given the fact that this thing is already down so much, I would say if there is an explosion here on VIX, it's gonna be to the upside and definitely not coming down that much. So keep an eye on that and be careful trading at these levels, market hitting all time highs, and as a matter of fact, you know, people always asking guys, and I know a lot of you guys are really good traders. You've been doing it for years and you know that at all time highs, you do not go and chase, you know, smart people. They actually hold their money tight for good opportunities. And then when the opportunity comes, market gives you an opportunity, you get that opportunity and make your money or double your money when that opportunity comes. Now, a lot of people, they like to chase, like somebody was asking even today, I think, uh, can I buy calls on SPY here? I mean, come on, oh my God, all time highs and you're gonna buy calls before closing for next week? If the market going higher, it can, but it just so much risk holding those calls at all time highs, you know, you better be off day trading and just making your money and going about your day and then you know, just going long at the top and then getting a big bag if there is a pullback five to ten percent and you're just getting in right in middle of that correction and he pretty much caught the top 
and you thought that was the dip. So you don't want to be that person losing money in this market, buying at the top. So be careful trading in this environment where, you know, market hitting all time highs pretty much every 30 minutes and nothing is pulling back. And all these big names are going up in a straight line and no pullback, nothing, nothing as a correction I see here in this market in last maybe uh, seven to eight months. We got a mini correction uh, right here that was like 5% and then immediately we saw gap up and go and even this morning was a gap up right early in the morning and then we saw the market fading and then going back up so be careful trading you know how the market is uh, reacting and trading right now and hitting brand new all time highs and I know it sounds really crazy but from these levels market can go higher also crashes can happen from these levels guys you will think that oh you know market is down two percent i think they're gonna buy the dip so i'm just gonna be a retail trader and i'm gonna buy the dip too right and the next thing you know it's already down like five ten percent and you're buying more and guess what it's going down to like 15 20 percent so be careful very careful when you're buying and going long here in this market pretty much at the top now on vix we need to get over 13 and possibly over 15 and then we can talk about more upside but the key level to break and hold now would be 13 bucks downside support nothing here as a matter of fact today getting a bounce off of this bollinger band so i would consider that bollinger band as a support 11.87 and below that 11.52 this low down here where we got a big bounce to the upside back up to 15. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section and I'll definitely keep you guys updated going into Monday.